Nothing you will ever do matters. Just doesn't. The thing that you said to Tracy from down the street, the person you cut off in the middle of the Walmart parking lot because you were stressed and you weren't looking fully, that doesn't matter. Right? Let's think about it. Out of all of the billions of people, out of all of the random strangers we walk by across the street, how much do you really think those people are paying attention to you? Nobody. Everybody's concerned about themselves. Everybody's thinking about what they're doing, and they don't care. So why should you? Think about it. Why should you care? And I don't mean this in a nihilistic sense. There's a reason you should care. But it's not the reason you should worry about it. Things that you've done, things that you've regret, things that happened in your life, nobody else is going to care about. And especially when it comes to things that you can learn from. Nobody's going to care. And that is why you should. Let's take it from a different angle. You had a conversation with somebody. You pissed them off. Now you feel bad because you said some things. I can guarantee you. Okay. They're not going to remember it in a month's time. There is a good chance that you and that person are going to get back together and just do shit within any amount of time. That disagreement or that thing that happened, it doesn't even have to be a conversation with a friend, is not going to change you. It's not going to affect anybody. Nobody's going to be thinking about it. A majority of the things you do in a day-to-day -day basis, everything that you worry about, it's going to pass. going to come a day where you're not worrying about that. You don't even realize that you're not worrying about that. Because there are other more important things that you're worrying about and that you're thinking about. And again, statistically, people don't care about what you do. They don't care about who you are. They don't care about what you've done. A majority of the time, they just want to go on and move to the next thing that they're doing. It's a stranger walking past and they're not going to ask you questions. So why should you care so much about things that you did? And that's the thing, right? One thing that was really difficult for me to learn was to realize when I fuck up, the best that I can do, because nobody else is going to throw me a bone, nobody else is going to forgive me, because everyone else is going to forget the best that I can do is learn and move along with that. If everyone else has forgotten already, maybe I should too. You see where I'm getting at here? Now, again, there are other things you should care about. Recently, the reason why I had stopped uploading so much is because many things have happened and I lost one of the most important people in my life. Shortly after, everyone else who was around me was gone. I'm alone. Nobody's going to care if I fail, but that just means all the more 
if nobody else is going to care, maybe I should care about myself. You're ever feeling lonely. You're ever feeling like nobody cares about you. Well, maybe they don't. What if they don't care about you? What will them caring about you change about yourself? Honestly, if nobody else gives a shit about you, what's stopping you from being the only person who gives a shit about yourself? And I mean that genuinely. If nobody cares about your well-being, why should they? Ultimately, you are the most important to your person to yourself. You are the most responsible for feeling good, for motivating yourself to get out of bed or to find the things that motivate yourself. God damn, was it difficult for me to get out of bed some days. I haven't been recording anything in months. This is the first time I've had the willpower to do more than be lazy and drown myself in work. Think about that. And I also know how much it feels terrible to feel like nobody cares about you. Which is why when nobody else cares about you, then you should care about yourself. And I know some of you might be thinking, oh, well, I don't deserve to care about myself. Who fucking cares, right? Who cares if anybody thinks you deserve to feel happy? Who cares if anybody thinks you deserve to be cared for? Think about that. After everything that I've said, if nobody cares about you, you should care about yourself because you're the only person who can care about yourself. You can't rely on other people to care about you. And you certainly cannot think that if nobody cares about you, then they're going to care enough to think that you should or shouldn't feel something. You're the only one who gets to make that decision. And that's important because at the end of the day, if you go lay in bed and you fail, you just give up. Well, the only person you hurt is yourself. I know it's cliche. I fucking know it's cliche, but there's a reason that people say it. If it wasn't for that mentality... I wouldn't be here right now. If it wasn't for you giving a fuck to get up, then you wouldn't be here right now. You wouldn't be watching this right now. And I know ultimately very few people are going to watch this video. I don't care about that. I'm doing it because I want to do it. I have a message to share. And I do. I've had so much happen. And quite frankly, I've been the only person I can rely on. For a majority of your life, you might just be the only person you can rely on. And I know that sounds daunting. And I know it is. Sometimes... The only thing you can do is get up. And sometimes that's more than you would have done anyways. I mean it. Even something as simple as standing up, it sounds stupid, but sometimes that takes everything you have and there's no reason to demoralize that. There's no reason you shouldn't be happy that you did that. Because after all of this bullshit, 
after everyone turning you down, you still stood up. You stood up for yourself. Look, and I know in this part of the video, you might be thinking about how much you want comfort, how much you want things to be normal and not stressed. Here's a different perspective. You can only be thinking about that because you know what that feels like. You've been comfortable before, right? You might have probably have even had people you felt genuinely cared for you before. If you didn't, you wouldn't be thinking about it. And if you can't even raise yourself up to get out of fucking bed, how can you expect to achieve that? How? Yeah, people might not care about you. The world might not care about you. The fucking universe might not care about you. Not a single goddamn person is going to care about you. And nobody is going to help you out. So help yourself. Because you are the most reliable person that you can bank on to do anything for yourself. And the best part is, if you do that, you might just find somebody that does care. Out of everyone in the world, you might actually just find that. But you're never fucking going to. If you don't even try. It's not easy. It will never be easy. But I'm not saying you should make it hard. This video should not tell you to go out and run a fucking marathon. This video should only tell you maybe sometimes standing up is the best that I can do. And sometimes you are the only person you can rely on. I mean it. I don't know you like you know you. Nobody knows you like you know you. You might be sent into thoughts about things that you've done and every little thing that you did. Things you said, things you didn't do. What effect does that have on you now? How is that actively affecting your life at the moment? Beyond you just regretting it. And I get that. Regret hurts. But take a step back to think about, oh, did that car that I pulled out in front of in Walmart seven years ago, is that actually affecting my life right now? There's a good chance the answer is no. There's a good chance that you should just move on. There are more important things to worry about. And the last thing is, and this is a particularly personal thing for me as well. You should absolutely remember people you've known, people you care for, people you used to care for. Because nobody else will. Nobody. As the saying goes, people die twice. One when they die physically, and one when they're forgotten. You should find those people to remember. Do not let them down. If they've ever extended a hand for you and given you advice, you should think about that. Part of the only reason I have the strength to get up right now and do what I do and continue doing what I do is because I remember those who came before me 
and all of the things that they've said to me. People are going to say things that you don't realize will be incredibly important. There are some people out there who actually do and actually did care about you. And there are some things that people will say that will piss you off. But they did it for a good reason. Maybe you're thinking about those things right now. Maybe this video will be that. I doubt it, but maybe. Nobody's expecting you to figure it out now. Yeah, no, if you're overwhelmed about life going on right now, because I agree, it is bullshit. Nobody's expecting you to figure it out. Quite frankly, nobody cares if you have figured it out because everyone else is too busy figuring it out. Nobody is expecting you to have all of your stuff together, but you cannot give up because of that. If you fail yourself, nobody's going to bail you out. Everybody's trying too hard to bail themselves out of shitty situations. You have to do that for yourself. And at the very least, if you do and you persist, you might be going through years of bullshit. I've been fucking miserable for years now, but it's starting to get at least a little better. Just a little bit. And it may take a while, but eventually, one step at a time, you stand up, you drink water, you feed yourself. Maybe you clean some things, and then you do a little more. And then you do a little more, and you push yourself to do a little more. All of that immense amount of energy that you've put into doing a little more, you're going to do a lot. You might not do a lot in the grand scheme of the world. Nobody cares if you do a lot. But you'll do a lot for yourself. Admittedly, you should only do things for yourself. Even if they're selfless acts of kindness. And I know that sounds confusing. Remember back to when you did something for somebody. Right? There was somebody that you knew. There was somebody that you enjoyed. Let's say or even a stranger that you did a very kind act for. Realistically, you did it for the stranger. You did it because you wanted to be nice, but also you did that thing because you knew it would bring peace to yourself. And that's what I mean, where you should do things for yourself. Especially if it helps you or somebody else and through somebody else it helps you it doesn't matter and it doesn't mean that you're selfish if you did somebody for something because you wanted to feel happy that they did that they were happy it's not selfish to think about yourself in that regard it's the most important thing you can do it's why you do anything for yourself. So don't stop. And on the other hand, don't brag about yourself. Don't think that you're better than anybody else because at the end of the day, nobody cares about you. We're all on the same playing field. You might have greater accolades. You might be smarter. But you are still a human. You still make mistakes. You still have just an in-depth, completely original story as much as everyone else does. So don't get cocky. Don't get narcissistic. Because nobody cares. If you care about others, that is fantastic. If others care about you, that is amazing.
But if you care about yourself, the hardest possible thing you can do, even maybe, and that is the most important thing you will ever achieve. So I should give Avatar credits. I hope this ramble didn't confuse you or make you feel bad or anything. I had something on my chest that I wanted to get off. I wanted to record this video because it was important to me to record this video. So, Avatar credits. This avatar is Red Cheetah 2.0 by Iris E. Sharp. That's, I'm gonna link it down in the description. And then this world is Heaven Sent by Wispy Woo. And of course, as always, the reason why I say keep living it is because you should keep living. As most you can do sometimes. So, keep living it. And I'll see you sometime. I? Maybe.